Good morning. So this morning I made a promise to myself last night that I was going to continue with reviewing some attunements. And this morning when I was doing so, after I was complete, I had a memory surface. Something I just from my childhood that I had totally forgotten about. And that is when I was in the second grade, I had no concept of math or how to read. The words, anything I looked at, I completely sh shut it down, okay? And the only thing I can figure is that subconsciously I knew it was a programming, okay? Let's face it, everything in the world is about a programming. It you, you adds all of it, you, the inundation of information. Okay, so with that out of the way, it was sixth or seventh grade where the, my inability to read really hit, okay? And it was a teacher asking me to read out loud just this little paragraph, and I couldn't. And this kid next to me just, I mean, he hounded me, and even though the teacher's telling him to stop. So eventually I limp my way forward, going through the motions, getting through high school, kind of putting forth the effort, but not really. I was a whatever. It wouldn't be until my 20s that I decided I was going to teach myself how to do this. And I was focused on, okay, well, what genres do I like? So I went with James Patterson, and once I felt comfortable there, I moved up to Clive Cluster, and then of course Tom Clancy. So thank you very much, authors. Awesome. And in that, I even taught myself, you know, grammar, you know, how to write, and that was awesome. So at this point, I still didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up, you know. I had already tried college twice and was like... <laughs> No, I'm okay. <laughs> Paid those bills off, and thank you, Mom. So, from there, I come out here to California, and this kid, all right, he's in second grade, and it only just dawned on me this morning. You know, he didn't know how to read, and he would come into the little cafe and just sit there, and he would tell us about how he was getting bullied and things like that, and I was like, oh, well, we can help you. Go pick a book out, you know, from the shop over there. And I can teach you if you want. I said, well, you can give you ice cream. You know, sweet deal. So this particular, it, it was about eight months where he would just come in and he would give us his report card and everything and show us how he was improving because we took the time to sit down with him and teach him. You know, or yeah, it was mostly me sitting down taking the time to teach him. But one of the rewards and the gratification was coming in and showing us, hey, I'm doing this. Hey, I'm not getting bullied so much. And even his mom got to the point where she would call us up while we're at the cafe and be like, hey, he's coming to you. He's got this book. And hey, not a problem. We got you. You know, I'm glad we could help awesome and that he's finally graduated and he's happier you know he can actually read he has this the comprehension for it so the overall arching message here is celebrate even your small wins look at where you've come from you know that's awesome you know it's taking that 10,000 foot perspective and going wow I, I really did that you know, that was, that took grit, that took the determination, that took, okay, this is my weakness, let's improve upon it. And eventually, you know, I did, as my profile says, you know, I went to College of the Siskiyous. I, because I went to college the first two times and did well, okay, I still graduated with honors over here. And that sense of accomplishment, I never really acknowledged it. I didn't. 
but I am now. So yay! <laughs> I know you all have stories too. And that's just it. They're stories. It's don't look in the past to show you what your future is. Okay. Celebrate what you are finally coming into the recognition of. Love it and keep moving forward. Let it, let it already used as a launching pad to where you're at now. And I know the clarity that has come from this for me on my journey. And I'm going to take full advantage of it. <laughs> no one else will because it's mine. <laughs> so y'all have a perfect day. And I will holler at you later. Bye for now.